Hi, I'm Robin Tudor. I'm taking a break from my usual regular weekly updates videos to, to do a slightly more personal series of videos. So I'm actually going to be documenting my water only fast, which I decided to undertake when I, a couple of weeks ago, I scheduled surgery, just, it's just a minor surgical procedure to remove a, a dermal neurofibroma. It's a sort of hard, gnarly little tumor on my, on my left thigh, which I've had for a while and it doesn't really bother me very much. Uh, if I bang into the corner of a table or something with it, it really hurts. It's uh, not malignant. Um, it's really, I mean, it, it's just a, it's more of a cosmetic issue than anything else. But I've, I've had this tumor for some years now and I finally decided it was time to get rid of it. So I go to see a surgeon, lovely guy by the name of Damien Marucci. Um, and it's a very easy procedure for him. It'll take about 20 minutes, local anesthetic, all good. But he said to me, that I would need to abstain from all exercise for a week. A week, seven days. Ah! I immediately thought, God, that's going to be hard. I'm going to be a proper bitch. I need my daily exercise session. And, and then I thought, hang on a minute. This could be a really good opportunity to do a fast. I've been meaning to do a, a reasonably extended water only fast for a long, 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 long time. In fact, my uh, I first learned about water only fasting back when I was a naturopathic student. So in the early 1990s, I worked for a practitioner who was very, very familiar with water only fasting. He referred a lot of his patients uh, for it. And I saw some really amazing results. And then uh, before I had children, I worked at Hopewood Health Retreat and saw a lot of, of, of people there who were coming in for fast. And I'd always planned to do a water-only fast myself before I got pregnant. I figured it'd be you know, a good opportunity to kind of clean out the system and get everything squeaky clean before I had a baby. But then my son came along. He, was, um, um, he, he wasn't following the program. So I found out that I was pregnant with him and never got the opportunity to do that pre-pregnancy fast. So then, you know, he he was born and then my daughter came along and in the meantime, I was working flat out and studying and all the rest of it. And the opportunity to do a water only fast never really presented itself. So as I say, when I found out that I could not exercise for a week, I thought, this could be a good opportunity to actually fast. And then coincidentally, I was listening to a podcast, the Ian Kramer podcast, great podcast, by the way, look it up, Ian Kramer, C-R-A-M-E-R. And he was interviewing Dr. Michael Clapper, whom I had the honor of, of speaking alongside of the recent uh, Dr. Clapper Symposium, the Nutrition and Healthcare Symposium that was held in uh, in Sydney, um, November the, the 12th. And then Dr. Clapper went up to Brisbane and Adelaide and Melbourne and just, um, uh, and then he went over to Auckland. So um, I was listening to this podcast where Ian Kramer was interviewing him about the sorts of, of reasons why people go to True North Health Centre, where Dr. Clapper has been working for the last eight, nine years, uh, why they go there to fast. And Dr. Clapper just happened to mention that people recovered faster from surgery if they went into the fast, uh, sorry, if they went into the surgical procedure fasting and or they fasted after the surgery. And I thought, that's two strikes. Let's do this thing. I had the opportunity to chat briefly to Dr. Clapper after the symposium had finished. And he said, yes, absolutely. You can go ahead and fast. So this morning, just, just to make sure that I had all the details down pat, I did a, a Skype consultation with Dr. Clapper, who was kind enough to speak to me from his um, hotel room in Auckland, just the, the morning after, early morning after he, he'd um, um, spoken in the, in the Auckland Symposium. And so he gave me the plan for how to do this. So I commenced my fast as of today, this morning. Now, I am accustomed to the form of intermittent fasting known as time-restricted eating. I've been doing this since, since about February, March this year. 
And so I generally fast for about 16 hours overnight. So if I finish dinner at 8 o'clock um, or finish eating at 8 o'clock, I then won't eat until midday the following day. And actually, I can pretty comfortably extend that. So I've gone as long as um, probably 19 hours without food, plenty of water in the meantime, mind you. And I do that pretty comfortably. I'm kind of hungry by the end of it, but I'm okay. So started off my fast this morning. I saw some clients and I uh, I was still drinking water, of course. I noticed by probably about three or four this afternoon that I was feeling kind of hungry and, and just pretty tired and my concentration span isn't what I'm accustomed to being. I Honestly, I mean, I feel at the moment like I've got the concentration powers of a lobotomized gnat. My memory is is just not very good. and I, I can't seem to pay attention to things for very long, but um, that's kind of what you expect to happen when you've run out of your glycogen reserves, which is what happens in the in the first part of the fast and somewhere or other I'd expect fairly soon I'm going to start going into ketosis so my body will be breaking down fat and my muscle cells will happily just run off the free fatty acids from that but my liver is going to have to turn those free fatty acids into ketone bodies and then my brain can run off those so hopefully by tomorrow I'll, I'll have slightly more concentration and I will be uh, going in for surgery at, at um, a bit after 10 o'clock tomorrow. So I um, wanted to, to share just a, a few experiences. Uh, Dr. Clapper recommended that rather than just drinking plain water through the fast, I drink sparkling water. And it works. So I've got my bottle of lightly sparkling water here. And I must say that compared to, I only got hold of this this afternoon, sent my husband out to the shops to buy it. And um, I'm, so I've just been drinking flat water in the morning and that was okay. But there's just something about that sparkling water. It really does seem to make my mouth feel less dry. Um, it's still a little bit dry, but the, the sparkling water helps a lot. What else? Oh, yes. Um, so in terms of, in terms of hunger, I, hunger is such a subjective phenomenon. And what I realized today was that because after speaking to Dr. Clapper, I decided to, to commence my fast today, I was a lot more food focused this morning than I ordinarily would be. So I don't normally eat until 12 o'clock anyway. But this morning, because I knew that I was going to be fasting, I was thinking about food a heck of a lot more. So that was kind of interesting. But by the afternoon, I was able to um, help chop up all the veggies for the stir fry that my husband made for, for himself and the kids. And, and although I was handling food, seeing it, smelling it, vegetables at least, I didn't really feel hungry for it. I, I wasn't tempted to eat it. But then I made the sauce for the stir fry. I, I am the usual stir fry maker in my household and my, my standard sauce contains some peanut butter. And as soon as I smelt that peanut butter, I just said to my husband, man, i got to get out of the kitchen right now because the smell of that peanut butter is just doing terrible things to me and making me want to eat it. So that was okay. I could, um, the families you know, finished their dinner and, and I'm, you know, drinking my sparkling water. And I feel okay. I don't know how I'm going to sleep tonight, whether I'll have any trouble getting off to sleep with, with my empty tummy. But so far, so good. I'm, I'm feeling pretty comfortable and uh, very optimistic that I can take this fast through for at least three days. And uh, Dr. Clapper said to me that if by the fourth day, um, when I actually have a full day of clients booked. So he said, if, if by the fourth day you're feeling kind of weak, you feel free to, to break the fast. It's okay. But if I can take it through to the end of the fourth day, I'll be, I'll be a pretty happy camper. So I'll post again tomorrow. And um, those of you who've, who have done a water only fast, I'd love to love to see your comments. So you post them below. And if you have questions about fasting, I would really encourage you to watch Dr. Clapper's video on it. And I'll, I'll post a link to that in the in the notes below this video. Okay, catch up with you tomorrow.